it's an incredible place to be. It's desolate and yet it's um, compelling in a lot of ways. There's a sense that uh, humans have never been in these areas much before. Uh, there's a strong sense that you really humans don't have any place there. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a comfortable continent, but at the same time, it's stark and beautiful and, and, and amazing. Way up at the top of the ice sheet, it's about 13,000 to 14,000 feet. It's actually a very flat plain, but it's slightly higher than all the area around it. That's the area we started looking at. There's a, uh, a lot of atmospheric science and climate science that's behind what produces the coldest temperatures in Antarctica. The home of all of that is this area along the ridge, the highest part of the ridge in East Antarctica. Um, where if conditions are right, the temperatures plummet to extremely low levels, past the previous record low temperature recorded at, uh, by the Russians at a base called Vostok. What we found was that the coldest temperatures are actually just off of the crest. The crest is an area where the air, as soon as it gets to a low temperature, starts to drain away. What you need is a place where that air is actually caught and held for a while so that it can cool down still more by radiating away into um, space. And those are the places that we're finding these very, very low temperatures. You might say, let's go there. Um, and maybe in summer, that's a reasonable thing to try and do. It's, it's really cold. And so things like your ordinary thermometers, certainly mercury thermometer won't work. An alcohol thermometer will have a lot of trouble. We're talking about temperatures that are 50 degrees colder than anything that has ever been seen in Alaska or in Siberia or certainly in North Dakota or Montana. What we're seeing are temperatures that start off um, quite cold and then when the sky clears, they drop fairly rapidly if that condition can persist for a few days, um, the ground chills, gets quite cold. The ground itself is radiating away the heat into space, into clear space. And by getting very cold on the surface, you chill the atmosphere that's next to this very cold snow. This lower layer that's getting very cold under the clear sky conditions is denser and it starts to slide down this huge dome of Antarctica. What you need is a place where that air is actually caught and held for a while. So by causing the airflow to be stationary for an extended period, you get the absolute lowest temperatures that we're able to find.